one. So, and uh, <coughs> your name is? My name is uh, Gilbert Kaunda. Yeah. I'm the headmaster of Chilala Primary School. <laughs> and there we are practicing permaculture. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of things that are being done there. Um, healing the soils, planting uh, different types of plants. Right. And uh, controlling soil erosion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and your name, and you're at the same school? I am Boisim Kamdu Zimhoni from the same school. Uh, I'm a teacher, school facilitator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same, we are doing the same things. We are uh, targeting the diversity of food to our learners. Now, to achieve this goal, we are practicing the Makasha. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, I think Ali Sharif visited your school a year ago, and you were telling me that it was only a year old, I think, when he visited it, right? And he was so impressed with your work. He said, talk to this, talk to them. They're doing magic. But he said you had a sign in your, in, in your, uh, on your, I thought it was good, on your, on your garden. And what did it say? Uh, our sign just at the entry point says, pay me cash and progress. <laughs> Please observe. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. And you were saying you both were raised in the same village or area? No. no? Him is living about a kilometer from my house. Oh, yeah? But I'm living direct at the school. Right. So there's a, a schoolhouse there. Okay. The headmaster's house. The headmaster's house, yeah. right. So you're living about a, a, mile, a, mile, a kilometer away, right? Yeah. From the school, right? Yes, I'm living one kilometer from the school. Now, in fact, it is my home area. Okay. My home village, yes. Right. So, when uh, this man came, I was away. But when he came, uh, when I came there, the head teacher told me that he, the guy from Brazil was very much impressed with this uh, yeah. activity which are taking part here. Yeah. yeah. So, how many students do you have working in the garden at different times? Um, for exception, we have standard one and two, right. which are not usually taking part. Oh, yeah. But from standard three to to seven, they are taking part. Right. Right. So their activities mainly, they try to bring uh, manu from mm. Kora manu, we can say. Right. Uh, trying to bring uh, plants and seedlings from the local community. And uh, they also help in taking part in designing what you do, how the place can look like. Right. Do you, it's really important that the children be involved in the design, don't you think? Very much. Yeah. Yes. Because they are the ones who can say, uh, no, uh, as you have designed here, uh, this one should, we should have a path here to go to maybe to a toilet or to a class. So if we don't involve these uh, learners, it means it will be a problem on trespassing the right. uh, uh, designs. Mm -hmm. yes. And a lot of these children are, are, are sons and daughters of farmers, right? Farmers, yes. Local yeah. farmers. Local yeah. farmers. Local so farmers. so they have some knowledge, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, what you feel like with the permaculture design, it helps their knowledge better, you know? Yes, it does. Yeah. Because in many cases, in, in the present time, people don't know how they can control the soils, mm -hmm. how they can control the, the plants in a way that they are being spoiled. Mm -hmm. But they, they have no knowledge. Yeah. So they need skills so that they can have this, the soil erosion controlled, something like that. Right. So you guys are like, uh, uh, you're like extension agents <laughs> working with children, you know? who are going to be the next farmers yes. when you think about it, don't you, don't you think? Yes, uh, really, there are, we are the ones who need to make the cho uh, children to have uh, a, a good knowledge about the future because they are the ones who tell their parents about what they are pricing and what is the good method of farming according to our program. In right. Are, are you able to feed a lot of the kids from the garden? or give them food? Not necessarily at the present because 
uh, we have just started. Right. So, but we uh, we know that in a few years to come, at least many will be fed. Right. But uh, the the harvest that we have, other fruits, at least everyone does get. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have the local parents involved with you, or is this a, a first step? Kids first, parents next. No, there are parents who are involved. Yeah. Yeah. But in making fair. composts. Oh yeah. In plan, in making some plans. Right. Uh, having gardens, so they are there. Yeah, I think that's a special thing I've seen in in African schools is you really involve the parents, and I think that's and and the children, but I think the parents we don't see that a lot. You know, they they send the kids to school in America and they go off to do something else. Mm -hmm. So not many parents involve themselves in, in gardens, but you think for you that's that's the most important, right? Yeah. And I think if you saw some videos which uh, Caroline and Stacia have taken, yes. we see some of these parents yeah. going around. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead. And you can not say it is perfect because where there is something, there are some who oppose and there are mm -hmm. some who support. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so there are some who say uh, it's not a good thing, but uh, now those who are opposing now they are coming in. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times you just got to go ahead with things, don't you? <laughs> By example. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Example is the only way that you can challenge doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, you're asking people to look at gardening different, aren't you? Yeah. So where did you get your permaculture teaching? Um, um, when this was introduced to us yeah. by Stacia and others. Uh, these people were yeah, taken to be taught as facilitators. Oh yeah. So after they got that education, they brought their skills and principles they have learned to our school. Right. So it was through these facilitators we can say. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Did the parents help put the school? You know, work on the school to uh, when you first put the garden in. Was there some support from the parents? Yes, some did uh, turn out. Did turn out to yes. help, eh? How many special parents aren't there? You yeah. know, wherever yeah. you know, there's those parents who would do anything for their kids, as, right? As we have already said, <laughs> uh, this one has already said, there are some who are quite eager yeah. to do what that to at least to help yeah. us. Right. Yeah. So that yeah. And even at, as I'm talking to you, you maybe if you, you go there, yeah. as you say, you are going to see we didn't leave any uh, manu hips, but you are going to find that those parents have done them. Oh. And I expect so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Is there anything more you want to say about your school or a special little message? or? The message I would like to give is that permaculture is real. Yeah. And for the few years we have observed, I think if it can continue, mm -hmm. it can feed the world. Yeah. 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 How about yourself? Yes, that's it for now. The message which I can send to all the stakeholders or any community members is that let's implement this so that we reduce the deforestation of our world and also to meet our demands concerning food security.